All right. But well, we're obviously wrapping it up here today. Um, have a good, good opportunity to get back and review everything, um, you know, and then head down to uh, Mexico tomorrow. I'll be ready to go Sunday afternoon. So, um, a, lot, a few things to tighten up. Getting a lot of, a lot of things to get ready for with the Raiders. They present a lot of problems, but um, let's keep grinding our way through it. Bill, one of the themes that we heard from the players yesterday was it's all about the Raiders and not, you know, all of some of the other stuff like Cowboys. One hundred percent, yeah, one hundred percent. Couldn't agree with it more. You know, I wanted to ask you, how has the setup been? It's been great. To it's great, but our job here is to get ready for the Raiders. That's what we're here for. And have you felt like you've been able to do that with this? Yep, we're working hard on it. Um, going to play in Mexico. What, what are your thoughts on just the, the, the setting of the game and just the challenges that come with that uh, for the team to play in a different country? Yeah, well, we'll meet them the best we can. I don't know. I mean, I've never been there before. So we've got other people that are playing it for it. We'll figure it out when we get there. <coughs> so, uh, Mike Gilsey was inactive on Sunday night. Is that more about a numbers game, or is that performance-based? Uh, well, I mean, the injuries are part of the inactive list. The rest of the inactive list is based on the players that are active for the game, the ones that we feel like give us the most competitive opportunity to win. That's the way it's always been. It's a deeper group of running backs than you're maybe used to having? Uh, yeah, and all the backs have been productive for us. You talked in the, in the, in the preseason, maybe even in the offseason, after you made some of those acquisitions at running back, about how you felt like maybe at times with the personnel last year and the running backs, it was a little bit too predictable. Obviously, if LeGarrette was in the game, general consensus was going to run the ball. Do you feel like that has aided the offense, having uh, multiple players that not just run the football, but also can, can come out of the backfield and catch it? Well, again, I think all of our, our backs have been productive. Um, I think last year is like, that's so far in the background. I don't think it has any relevance about anything. So we'll do what we feel like is best for this game um, with the players that are physically able to play and you know, put the most competitive team out there we can at every position. Bill, if I'm not mistaken, uh, when Ted Karras was at Illinois, he was mostly at right guard, if I remember. Um, <coughs> brought him here and I think started to cross train him a little bit like you do with all your guys. How have you noticed his ability at center, um, given that his background at that position wasn't as deep, maybe coming into the NFL? Yeah, those guys have played, most of those inside players have played all three positions um, all the time that they've been here. Some more than others, but they work at all of them. How would you assess just sort of how he's developed uh, over the since you've had him? I mean, Ted works hard, he loves football. You know, he's, Gets early, there early, stays late. Um, hasn't had a lot of playing time in the regular season. Did at the beginning of the year last year um, when Shaq was out. How about Cole Crofton? He hasn't played obviously this year. How is he coming along with that? You know, in the practices from what you've seen? Yeah, works hard. Works hard, making progress. He's showing you the ability to play tackle guard. Even, maybe even could he play center or would he be more tackle guard? Yeah, again, we, we work our players at a lot of different positions, so it would depend on the situation and circumstances. Bill, over the years with the way that college offenses are run, it would seem that linemen might come out a little bit more polished in blocking in the run game and might need a little bit more attention in, um, in, in pass protection. With the, with the pistol, style offense or whatever one might call it, um, being so stressed in college football. Um, what changes have you noticed in terms of linemen coming out of college football into the NFL? Um, well, I mean, that would be a long answer, but I mean, first of all, the colleges are limited with the amount of practice time that they have, so that affects it. I don't think that in general, college offensive linemen are particularly well prepared for the National Football League game, period. Um, the exception of a few offenses, but not very many. So, so this is what it is.
Bill, on the, on the first play that Denver ran where Sanders was in the flat and then turned it up, Malcolm appeared to be in good position and then I guess he lost contact. Is, is he supposed to keep his hand on him? Know where he is because he, he turned to face the quarterback and that's when Sanders shot up the sideline. What's the coaching point there? Yeah, well, there's a lot of coaching points on every play, so and there's a lot of other players involved in that play besides those two, so I'm not really going to get into all that. Coach David Harris's uh, play snaps have been on the increase lately. I'm wondering how you see his progress in your system. Yeah, David's very professional, works hard, very thorough at preparing for his job, and does a good job of communication. He's got a lot of experience, seen a lot of, uh, a lot of football, and so... You know, it all comes pretty quickly to him. But he's been a great teammate, great, great guy to, um, you know, embrace his role, prepare for his role. And, you know, gives us everything he's got whenever, whatever we ask him to do. Couldn't ask for anything more than what he's done. So, uh, I think it was Josh McDaniels described Danny Amendola as a trash player or something, but he kind of weaves in and out of the, the trash situations well when you get near a goal line or in a punt return situation. Obviously, he's not an every down type of player, but is he a guy who you definitely want on the field in the most important situations? Danny's made a lot of plays for us. He's an outstanding player. He's got tremendous hands, concentration, toughness, um, very smart, instinctive player. Knows how to run routes, knows uh, where to go on zone coverages, um, how to get open, how to find space, how to create the right, do the right thing for the pattern, do the right thing for the quarterback. I mean, he's, he's a really good football player. He does everything well. Runs well with the ball after the catch. Hard to tackle. He's elusive. Um, great situational player. He's, he's done a great job for us. Continues to do it in whatever role he's asked to perform it. Raiders primarily three receiver offense, or they give you pretty much a little bit of everything? Uh, they have plenty of three receivers. They have plenty of Twelve personnel. They have three tight ends, so they may play them in different combinations. They have four, call it five receivers. They, you know, play them in different combinations. Patterson's, you know, he plays in the backfield. He plays in the receiver positions. Just call him whatever you want. He's another explosive player. So they got a lot of good players. Got a lot of good backs, got a lot of good tight ends, got a lot of good receivers, good offensive line, a good quarterback. So it's pretty much where they put out there is pretty good. Brad's special teams. Question, guys. Brad's your special teams look familiar uh, in terms of the schemes from the time here. He's had evolved quite a bit from uh, time. Yeah, I mean, look, Brad's a good coach. He's had, has a lot of experience. He's had a lot of production in the kicking game wherever he's been. Um, you know, it's been in a number of different places. They've always been. Well, he's been pretty good, and they're good now. He has good returners, uh, good specialists, and a good core group of guys, bigger group of guys, bigger physical group, um, you know, that you got to stand up to, and you got to play with some, some size and strength and toughness against them. Um, but they have a very explosive, as I said, group of specialists, punter, kicker, returners, punter, returner, kickoff, returner. You know, those guys can change field position. They can make, make big plays. So it's, it's a very explosive group. Brad does a great job with him. No question, he's, he's an outstanding coach. All right. Thanks. Same idea. Yep.